Well, it's early morning. This is our last day hunting. We had a rest day yesterday. We did a fair bit on the, the previous day to that. Uh, and it's the only time we've really seen a few deer. Had a couple of a couple of uh, samba run off on us. Obviously videoed that one fellow and another couple of fellow right on the boundary late afternoon just disappeared. We're really not in a situation to take all the meat out. So we've decided if we're going to take one, it'll be on a death knock today. But anyway, I'm going to get this game camera and then head back, have some breakfast and see how the day pans out. Well, I parked the way up one of the hills. I knew I was tired, but anyway, let's see how we see how we pan out. But I love these mornings. It's cool, it's crisp, it's been a heavy dew, and uh, you just gotta love it when the sun hits the other side of the hill. Well, that hill in the background is the uh, is the hill I'm heading for. The dog normally walks over where those half a dozen little shrubs are, and uh, and sits there, checks the all clear and uh, comes in down into the creek there's a couple of carcasses down there that he's been feeding on and uh, it's just luck of the draw we've been here many times but haven't seen him again for a few days so i only hope he hasn't gone back into the bush which quite easily could have done um, but we've only seen the one uh, which is a little bit of a, an oddity i thought you'd at least see another one sitting around or strung along with him at some stage but and we've walked right up through there not disturbed him too much but um, it's just been enough to, well, well, they're not here, so whatever it is, but um, well, we'll see how we go. I've just picked up my trail camera, just over this wallow. There's just a couple of photos, um, just looks like a young, uh, young stag, spiker. But uh, look, the other day we met this young guy, young hunter Tom, in his 20s come up, introduced himself, top young bloke. If all young hunters were like him, it'd be just fantastic. We had a good chat, got along like a house on fire. He was coming up after a few months to check his game camera. We spoke to him later that day, and what did he tell us? He couldn't find it, someone had knocked it off. Now for anyone that does this, and if it's a fellow hunter, I just do not understand it. Seriously, Anyone that wants to do that, just get a life. Us hunters have enough trouble looking after ourselves. To go in and steal someone's camera, I don't really understand what you think you're going to get from it. Well, I've just been on the radio to Steve. He's um, got that spiker back on his camera again. He just went and picked up his trail cam. And uh, he's heading back soon. So, uh, yeah, well, we'll see what happens. But um, we... Um, <coughs> <clears throat> we'll go out later on this afternoon uh, and just sit on the hill if we get a chance we know there's a few fellow over the back of this hill where this dog comes from so I'm, I'm really tempted not to uh, string up over the hill because I don't want to spoil anything for later on but uh, I'd love to see this dog come over this bloody hill I've, I've ranged about 20 spots um, and uh, oh, he's just in strife if he can uh, if he can just make his way over the hill, if he can just put in the effort, it'll be the last time he gets over that hill. After this morning's walk, I'm just heading back now. I actually just bumped a... I think I could have bumped that spiker that uh, I caught on the game camera. Wasn't going to shoot anyway, it's too far in. But uh, this afternoon might be a different scenario. We might just sit on the hill. We've got an area where we know the fellow come out. So uh, it's a different matter if we can get in close and get all the meat. Good chance we might take one down if it uh, does its part and shows itself. But uh, I'm just walking back along the, the fence. Now, I don't know if you can see it here, but the triple hot wire is there for a reason. A good reason, and that's to keep the, try and keep the dogs out. Now all I can say is every hunter, every deer hunter, if you see a wild dog, Put it down on the spot. Don't muck around. Don't think it's going to ruin your day. That is in your deer hunting. Just put it down. There's going to be a bounty again, I think, in Victoria. The word was $120. It's good money. But even if there wasn't any money, 
we need to put them down because they are a massive menace. I know I keep going on about it, but we need to get serious about it. If you see them, shoot them. Uh, he's just been out for a walk. And it just goes to show the matter of dedication and passion that the man has. So I won't interrupt him, although I'd love to throw a stone in the creek. Oh dear. What's he talking about now? Oh my god. Probably got probably saying something like, well I've got three dicks and you've only got one. And I can play with my dick all day. Oh yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Welcome to BA Productions. Plan. It's the last day as we've mentioned. So we're going to get up on top of this ridge and the whole idea is wait for the sun to hit the hill over here. That way we can look with our binos and the spotting scope into the fringe. Ideally that dog will show his face for you. Yeah, Don't miss buddy. No, no pre pressure. No pressure. <laughs> just seen two samba right up the top of that crest over there. And I've just ranged them at 1,556 yards. So they're out of the equation, but at least we know they're coming out. They're coming out into the fringe. Anything could happen here yet. It's still legal, legal light, so we'll, uh, it's not over until the death knock, so we'll see what happens. Man's got to know when he's beaten. <laughs> Pretty much, right? No? Yeah, pretty much. We've had a pretty good run over, We've been the, uh, over the years. <laughs> yeah. Someone built the fire up a little bit large. So we've got a runner. Someone. Well, we had to burn all the wood. We didn't have to burn it all in one go. No, it's not all in one go. There's well, a bit more to go yet. But I'm just waiting until we get some embers. We're only about, <laughs> we're, we're only about four metres back from the fire. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> anyway, a week away. Not a bad way to finish it off. Nice cold beer, good fire, good company. Calamari. Calamari, Aldi Calamari, which is always fantastic. Yeah. Not a shot fired for a week shooting. No. Week hunting. No. Armed backpackers we are. <laughs> 